Hey, hello, hello, hello. I am Jean. I am a knitter. This is my YouTube channel. If you like it, subscribe and hit the like button. And I try to answer most of the comments that people send me also. Not that there've been tons and tons, but hey, that's life. I picked up the mitten, the project, and I didn't have any problem. I knew sort of what the gauge was, so I did up a couple of swatches right quick and I got my gauge just right. And I went through my cast on and I started with the ribbing and I had forgotten how to do it. So I let it be, thought about it, I ripped it out, tried again, remembering the phrases that I had been repeating to myself again and again. We had another fail. So I went back to practicing on practice yarn and I still haven't got I still haven't gotten it right. I'm so annoyed. I am so determined. This is the last step. I never thought it was going to take this long. I really didn't. I also never thought I was going to go through this much paper. And this isn't even half of it. Um, I wrote out the answers to the questions by hand because I could scratch and scribble and carry around a clipboard and it just works for me. Then I sat down and I fought with formatting in Word because Word, Microsoft Word and I do not get along. I don't know why I continue to attempt to use it, but then I realized that it's time for me to go get my eyes checked again and I have an appointment, but my appointment is an annual appointment in mid-October and my glasses are not right now. So I was struggling with switching from one pair of glasses to a different pair of glasses and then finally, finally, oh, I feel like, duh, I got it. I have a large screen so I can zoom out to 120% or more and be able to read the large print. I don't have to squint at 11 point font. So that took away a lot of the headache. Sometimes you just get so stuck in what you are doing that you forget there's more than one way to get that problem solved. And I was there, but I got the aha, I got that problem solved, yay! And I just, I've gone through my questions again and reread them and made sure that I have references that are appropriate. Of course, that took some more editing and printing out of another page and printing out of another page and printing out of another page and checking things. And I think I've added, oh, since I thought my bibliography was complete, at least four or five different references because while you think it's going to be in one book, it isn't actually stated word for word in that book. They talk around it, but they don't put it out in a simple statement of fact. Um, there's nothing you can do about that. It's the way things are. There are a few reference books that cover that. Um, Knitting in Plain English is one that does do that. Elizabeth Zimmerman does not. She assumes a great deal of knitting knowledge already. Even though she thinks she's talking to a beginner, she isn't. And Meg Swanson, her daughter, will also tell you there are times when she says, please don't do what my mother told you to do because it really doesn't work as well as she thought it did. And that's life. In the meantime, I've also had life. Um, I was getting a great deal of stress through my job. Um, I had a great deal of information to learn 
but it's drinking from a fire hose and it wasn't going well. And I got that sorted out. Life happens. Sometimes knitting decreases your stress and sometimes knitting like this project adds to it. But I am determined. I, I'm almost done. It's just this mitten. And I hate this mitten. And I'm ever so grateful that I only have to knit one of them. Um, this particular box contains many of the sample pieces that I have knit. Um, oh, oh, I can see it in here. Look, look, it's a piece of the knitted cuff for the mitten that was right. And it's in an acrylic yarn and I can't block it. Look at that, look at that. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? <sighs> I can't duplicate it. It's so frustrating. Um, but I can look at it again and again and figure out where I am doing things and what it looks like on the back. So let's pull that one out. We can put this one back in. This is a practice thumb that didn't need to happen. Here's another practice thumb for this mitten. Um, <coughs> oh, this horrible mess is, um, prep for the mitten because I have to use a non, I'm staring into the bucket. I have to use a non jogless join. Oh no, I have to use a jogless join to smooth out the transition from one color to another color. And if you look at that little area, you can see that there's not a serious jog in the transition, unlike in my sample piece for the color changing. That's a horrible jog, which is what happens when you change colors in the middle of the row and don't compensate for it. It is what it will look like when you are knitting in the round and change colors and don't compensate for it. Now, there are some people who say you don't really need to compensate. You just call it a side seam and let it be. And then there are some people who say, oh, my goodness, you can't leave that mess there. <coughs> what I will say is, honey, it's your knitting. You do what makes you happy. In other words, you do you. I'm doing me, but I now have to follow these rules. I'm going to, like wave this in front of myself regularly to remind myself that yes, I really can do this. I have done it. I can do it again, but I'm still working only on the practice and not on the, um, this is acrylic. It's larger. It's easier to see. And I can, um, I don't have to worry so much about the quality of my stitching. I just have to worry about getting this silly thing to look consistent. But I am so grateful I found this because I thought I had ripped it out to use over again, but no, I bound it off so I could save it. So it would make me happy later. Sometimes I'm smarter than I think I am. And sometimes I'm just an absolute idiot. Like when I was struggling to read something and forgot that, you know, this is a computer. You can zoom in. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's human nature. Um, maybe I'll wear it as an ankle bracelet. Ta-da! <laughs> sometimes silly things make me happy. Sometimes silly things make me really happy. But <clears throat> I will also say going through my book and taking out my pages that were draft pages and replacing them with pages that had been completed but hadn't been printed out because I hadn't done the final check on them. Yeah, you got to do the final check on them. 
What I am struggling with next is going to be what on earth are my gauge worksheets going to look like? Because while I have absolutely completed all of the gauge worksheets, some of them are handwritten because they make you fill in a form. Well, I'm not fighting with word. I am not fighting with word. I'm just going to do it handwritten and use my best handwriting the way I did on the tags. And I don't know if I can put my hands on the tags. I'm going to have to make another tag so I can put a label on the mitten so it doesn't get lost because God help me, I would have to do it over again and it would not make me happy. Oh, but life continues, progress continues. I hate this mitten. I really want to get it done so I will never have to knit another mitten. I don't mind the mitten. It's the cuff of the mitten that I hate. Okay, but we'll manage. In the meantime, I'm actually doing some pre-research for uh, phase two and have been looking at some of the color work references that I own that I will have to use for phase three. <sighs> but it'll all come out in the wash. And I have an ankle bracelet to wear for the rest of the day. So <laughs> I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and do me a favor. Keep knitting.